Welcome to the Wedding Songs Podcast, featuring newly released songs you need to know and the tried and true classics. Get song ideas from the time guests arrive until the last dance of the reception. And now your host, Matt Campbell, founder of MyWeddingSongs.com. Hi everybody, I'm Matt Campbell, and today I'm going to talk about the 100 greatest wedding songs of the 1980s. Yeah, totally, for real. And just so you can follow along, just in case you created your own list, I've alphabetized these by artist and then song title. And that way, if you have a song that's not on my list that you think should be there, or you don't agree with one of the songs, just leave us a comment or reach out to us through our Facebook page. So let's get started with the first five with Aha, Take On Me in 1984. ACDC's on the list twice with Back in Black and You Shook Me All Night Long, both of 1980. Beastie Boys, Fight for Your Right in 1987. And Bill Medley and Jennifer Warnes with I've Had the Time of My Life in 1987. Now, Aha! Take On Me was probably more well known for their music video. It's one of the greatest music videos of all time because it brought together cartoons and real life in its video. Next is ACDC with two songs. You know, You Shook Me All Night Long is probably one of the greatest rock party songs of all time. And Back in Black could describe your groomsmen and your groom, so it could fit in with any rock party. Set. Beastie Boys' Fight for Your Right was a huge rock rap song in the 1980s and will fill the dance floor with the right crowd. I've Had the Time of My Life was first introduced on the movie Dirty Dancing and is a great way to end any wedding with the couple being surrounded with all of the wedding guests singing along to this song. The next five starts off with two songs by Billy Idol, Moni Moni in 1987 and White Wedding in 1982, Billy Joel, Uptown Girl in 1983, Blonde. Call Me in 1980, and Bobby Brown, My Prerogative in 1988. Now, some of you may be thinking that I'm crazy to have two Billy Idol songs, but Moni Moni was a great group dance song, and if the wedding couple or the guests at your wedding know the dance moves to this, then it's got to be included on your dance set. White Wedding doesn't have the perfect wedding theme or story, but White Wedding has been included in many weddings throughout the years. Billy Joel's Uptown Girl could be played as a bouquet toss song, or dedication to the girls that are in attendance. Blondie's Call Me was a huge new wave dance in the early 1980s. And Bobby Brown's My Prerogative was a huge R&B dance hit. Even though his character has been challenged throughout the decades, I would challenge you to play this because a lot of people will know this song and dance to it. The next five starts off with Bon Jovi, Living on a Prayer in 1986. Bonnie Tyler, Total Eclipse of the Heart in 1983. Bruce Springsteen, Dancing in the Dark in 1984, Brian Adams, Summer of 69 in 1985, and Buster Poindexter, Hot, Hot, Hot in 1987. Now for all of those hairband fanatics, I would say Bon Jovi's Living on a Prayer is at the top of that list to dance to and sing along to. Bonnie Tyler, Total Eclipse of the Heart is not for every wedding, but if the wedding couple or the guests at the wedding know this song, it's a great sing-along song. Bruce Springsteen's Dancing in the Dark, I would say it was his best dance hit of the 1980s. Brian Adams, Summer of 69, for those pop rock fanatics, I would say we'll have everybody dancing and singing along. Buster Poindexter's Hot 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 is a great conga line song if you don't want to play the conga by Gloria Estefan. The next five starts off with Cameo, Word Up in 1986. Krista Berg, The Lady in Red in 1986. Culture Club, Karma Chameleon in 1983. Cindy Lauper, Girls Just Want to Have Fun in 1983. And Dave David Bowie, Let's Dance in 1983. So Cameo's Word Up may not be known by everybody, but I would say I love this to dance to, and if you don't think it's going to go off well, you can definitely play it as a background song during the cocktails or during dinner. Krista Berg's The Lady in Red is a classic love song, even though the bride is wearing white. I would say a lot of people will know this song and dance to this song if you're looking for a 1980s love song. Culture Club's Karma Chameleon is a classic new wave song that will have new wave fans dancing to at your wedding. Cindy Lauper, Girls Just Want to Have Fun, is a woman's theme that will have the women singing along or could be used as a bouquet toss song as well. And David Bowie, Let's Dance, he passed away fairly
fairly recently, and this could go over very well for David Bowie fans. The next five starts off with Dead or Alive, You Spin Me Around Like a Record in 1984, Def Leppard, Pour Some Sugar on Me, 1988, Devo, Whip It, 1980, Dexy's Midnight Runners, Come On Eileen in 1982, and Diana Ross with I'm Coming Out in 1980. Dead or Alive really hit the mark with You Spin Me Around Like a Record. It's a huge dance hit that will have fans of the 1980s dancing at your wedding. Def Leppard is another hair band from the 1980s with Pour Some Sugar on Me. You can play this as a cake cutting song or as a dance tune. Devo Whip It is one of those songs that doesn't have the perfect theme for weddings, but a lot of people know it and will dance to it. Dexy's Midnight Runners is one of my favorite new wave songs with Come On Eileen, just because I have an aunt named Eileen, and I always like playing this song as a dedication to her, but we'll also have many people dancing to this. And finally, if you're into disco, I would say I'm Coming Out is a huge dance hit for Diana Ross. The next five is Earth, Wind, and Fire, Let's Groove in 1981, Eddie Money, Take Me Home Tonight in 1986, Eddie Rabbit and Crystal Gale, You and I, 1982. Eddie Grant, Electric Avenue in 1982. And Eurythmics, Sweet Dreams Are Made of This in 1983. Probably the best song by Earth, Wind and Fire most known for weddings is September. But Let's Groove, I think, is a favorite dance hit for the early 1980s and gets that funk really going on as well. Eddie Money's Take Me Home Tonight is a classic way to end the night for the wedding. Eddie Rabbit and Crystal Gale you and i was a classic first dance love song from the early 80s that could still be played today eddie grant electric avenue was one of those songs that has the perfect beat to get people dancing or you can play as a background song as well eurythmic sweet dreams are made of this can be remixed by a good dj and can fill the dance floor the next five is flock of seagulls i ran so far away in 1982 foreigner i want to know what love is in 1984 frank sinatra new york New York in 1980, Gap Band, You Dropped a Bomb on Me in 1982, and Guns N' Roses, Sweet Child of Mine in 1988. Flock of Seagulls, I Ran So Far Away is a classic sing-along song, but can also fill the dance floor with the right crowd. Foreigner, I Want to Know What Love Is, is a rock love song that could be used as a first dance song or throughout your wedding. For all of those New Yorkers that are listening, gotta play Frank Sinatra's New York, New York. But if you're living in Boston, you may skip this song. The Gap Band has a huge funk hit with You Dropped a Bomb on Me for those funk fans. And Sweet Child of Mine could be played as a father-daughter song or just to fill the dance floor too for those rockers. All right, next up we have Hall & Oates with You Make My Dreams in 1980, Huey Lewis and the News, The Power of Love in 1986, In Excess, Need You Tonight in 1987, Irene Cara, Flash Dance, What a Feeling in 1983, and Jay Giles Band, Centerfold in 1981. Hall & Oates really had a huge hit with You Make My Dreams Come True and makes for a classic recessional song at the ceremony. Huey Lewis and the News' song The Power of Love was featured featured in Back to the Future, and it's a great song to sing along to. In Excess's Need You Tonight is a great song to get the wedding couple dancing. Irene Cara's Flash Dance, What a Feeling, is a great song to get people pumped up. You can play right before the entrance of the wedding couples and the wedding party, or you could save it for the introductions as well. Jay Giles' band Centerfold was one of their most well-known hits and can be played to get people dancing. All right, the next five start off with Joan Jett and the Blackheart, I Love Rock and Roll in 1981. John Cougar Mellencamp has two songs with Hurt So Good and Jack and Diane, both of 1982. And then Journey has three songs on the list with Any Way You Want It in 1980, Don't Stop Believing in 1981, and Faithfully in 1983. So Joan Jett's song I Love Rock and Roll is a great sing-along song. John Cougar's Hurt So Good was a dance song that it could be played for rock fans. And Jack and Diane is a great sing-along song to be played as a background song during cocktails or during dinner and journeys any way you want it could be a funny song that you played during the garter removal don't stop believing is probably one of the most popular final songs to be played at weddings but you could also play it during any time of the night to get people singing along and faithfully is one of the best love songs of all time and a personal favorite of mine next up we have katrina and the waves walking on sunshine in 1985 kenny loggins footloose in 
1984, Kenny Rogers' Lady in 1980, and Cool in the Gang, Celebration in 1980. So Katrina and the Waves, Walking on Sunshine, could be used as a recessional song or a processional song. Either way, it makes for a great moment. Kenny Loggins' Footloose is still a very popular dance tune today. Kenny Rogers' Lady makes for a great love song for those country fans. Cool in the Gang's song, Celebration in 1980 is a huge hit that is played at many weddings so you have to watch out to make sure it doesn't hit the cheese factor just because it has been played a lot at weddings and so if you really love this song go ahead and play it next up is cool in the gang get down tonight in 1981 lionel richie all night long in 1983 and then lionel richie and diana ross with endless love in 1981 lips funky town in 1980 and then madonna into the groove in 1985 so cool in the gang's get down on it is a little funky if you want to have some funk going on at your wedding lionel richie with all night long was a popular dance tune to dancing on the ceiling and others as well lionel richie and diana ross came together as a duet for the classic love song endless love that could also be used as a slow dance for any wedding lips inc funky town is another disco song on the list that could fill the dance floor at weddings and madonna into the groove in 1985 was a huge hit for her and is a personal favorite of mine in her massive list of songs that she released throughout the years. And number 56 is Madonna's Like a Prayer in 1989, Marsha Griffith's Electric Boogie in 1989, Marvin Gaye's Sexual Healing in 1982, Men Without Hats, The Safety Dance in 1982, and the first song by Michael Jackson, Beat It, in 1983. The second song on the list by Madonna is Like a Prayer in 1989, and I know she has other hits like Holiday, but this is a personal favorite that many people will sing along to. One of the best songs on the list for group dancing and line dancing is Electric Boogie by Marsha Griffiths that has been played at many a weddings throughout the years. Marvin Gaye's Sexual Healing may not be for every wedding, but is a classic R&B song that you could play. Men Without Hats, The Safety Dance is a classic new wave song for those fans of the 80s new wave genre. And Michael Jackson's Beat It was definitely a great dance tune of the 1980s. So the next five, we will continue with Michael Jackson with Billie Jean in 1983, Rock With You in 1980, Thriller in 1984, Modern English, I Melt With You in 1982, and Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, Fishing in the Dark in 1987. So Michael Jackson continues with Billie Jean, and I would say if I pick any song to play at a wedding, it would be Billie Jean. It's always a floor filler. Rock With You is another great dance tune. And Thriller has its own dance moves. If the wedding party or wedding guests know the dance move to this, I would definitely play this as well. Another new wave hit with I Melt With You will fill the dance floor or get people singing along. And the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, Fish in the Dark, you could get people singing along to this classic country song. Next up at number 66 is Outfield, Your Love in 1986. Paul Simon, You Can Call Me Al in 1986. Prince with 19. 1999 in 1982 and Kiss in 1986 and Purple Rain in 1984. So we got three songs by Prince. The Outfield, Your Love is a great sing-along song to play at weddings. Paul Simon's You Can Call Me Al. I remember playing this back in the day when it first came out for a father-daughter song just because it had a special meaning between the father and the daughter. But you can play this throughout your wedding and we'll have people singing along. Next up we have three songs by Prince. So 1999 is a classic party song to play. I love the song Kiss to play during the dinner hour just because I don't like the clinging of the glasses. And I'll play this song to try to get the couple to kiss during the dinner hour. And finally, Purple Rain is a classic party song. Next up, we have Queen with two songs. The first one is Another One Bites the Dust in 1980 and Crazy Little Thing Called Love in 1980. Queen with David Bowie under pressure in 1980. Randy Travis, Forever and Ever Amen in 1987, and Rick Astley with Never Gonna Give You Up in 1987. So Queen has three songs on the list with Another One Bites the Dust. I know some people don't like the theme of this song to play at weddings, but you know what? It has a great tune and we'll have people singing along. Crazy Little Thing Called Love is one of my favorite songs to play by Queen. Radio Gaga is another one, but I personally like this one just because of the message that it gives off for weddings and love and under pressure
Pressure is another classic dance tune by Queen and David Bowie coming together. A classic country song by Randy Travis, Forever and Ever Amen, has the perfect wedding theme that you could play as a recessional song or throughout the wedding reception. And I like playing Rick Astley, Never Gonna Give You Up. If you want a more up-tempo song to play during dinner or cocktail hour, people will definitely be singing along to this song and tapping their toes. And for me, it just makes me smile just because it's just goofy. Next up, we have Rick James with Super Freak in 1981, Rick Springfield's Jesse's Girl in 1981, Rob Bass and DJ Easy Rock, It Takes Two in 1988, Salt and Peppa Push It in 1987, and Steve Earle Copperhead Road in 1988. So if you have some funk fans at your wedding reception, I would say Super Freak would be great to get people to get their freak on on the dance floor. Jesse's Girl still goes over extremely well by Rick Springfield and will have people singing along even though the message may not be great for a lot of weddings hey it still fills the dance floor it takes two has a great message for the hip-hop fans and will fill the dance floor and has the perfect message for wedding because it takes two to get things right next up is the probably the most well-known song by salt and pepper with push it with the right crowd it could go over but you have to know the couple and you have to know the guests as well because you don't want to offend anybody and finally we have steve earl's copperhead road for those of you who like to line dance this is a classic country song that will have people line dancing to at number 81 we have stray cats with rock this town in 1982 the b-52's love shack in 1989 the bangles walk like an Egyptian in 1989 the fix one thing leads to another in 1983 and the knack my sharona in 1980 just for the rockabilly fans i really like rock this town by the stray cats it has a great tune to it and could get people dancing on the dance floor or you could save it for a background song as well love shack has been a huge party hit for the b-52 since 1989 and will have many people singing rusted roof walk like an egyptian was a huge hit for the Bengals in the late 1980s and could be played at your wedding reception with the right theme new wave continues to be on the list with one thing leads to another by the fix and finally my sharona by the knack is a huge sing-along song that many people will get out on the dance floor and shout my sharona at number 86 is the pointer sisters jump for my love in 1984 the police every breath you take in 1983 the romantics what i like about you in 1980 the spinners working my way back to you in 1980 and tommy two-tone 8675309 jenny in 1981 so the pointer sisters song jump for my love is a huge r&b hit that you could play during the reception for dancing the next song every breath you take i know many of you think of this as a stalking song but i tell you what it's a song that everybody will know and will dance to as well the romantics had a huge party hit with what i like about you and we'll have everybody sing along and on the dance floor and working my way back to you by the spinners is a huge r&b hit that i'd love playing as a background song during dinner or cocktail hour and 8675309 you know i know it's not the perfect message with leaving your number on the bathroom stall but i have to tell you that it's one of the best songs that people love to sing along to so the next five starts off with tone loke wild thing in 1989 toto africa in 1982 ub40 red red wine in 1983 van halen jump 1983 and wang chung everybody have fun tonight in 1986 now tone loke's song wild thing is not perfect for every wedding but if you have hip-hop fans at the wedding reception you could save this for later in the night toto's africa is a pop rock song that many people will know and could sing along to or dance to at your reception ub40's red red wine you could play as a background song during dinner or while people are sipping on their merlot or their cabernet sauvignon van halen's jump is a huge rock song that will have everybody jumping during the wedding reception now wing chung's everybody have fun tonight could be a great way to start off the evening as the cocktail hour song now let's get started with our final five songs with Wham's Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go in 1984. Whitney Houston has two songs with How Will I Know in 1985. And of course, I Want to Dance with Somebody Who Loves Me in 1987. Young MC Bust a Move in 1989. And ZZ Top with Sharp Dressed Man in 1982. If you have a lot of pop rock wedding guests at your wedding, Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go will get people on the dance floor and singing along. How Will I Know by Whitney Houston is a 
great dance tune of hers, but I Want to Dance with Somebody is probably one of the best party songs of all time that we'll have everybody singing along and dancing to. For hip-hop pop fans, I love Young MC's Bust a Move, and everybody loves to bust a move on the dance floor to this song. And lastly, we have ZZ Top with Sharp Dressed Man, released in 1982. I love this song that you could play for the groomsmen or the groom, and you can play this during the garter toss as well. So there you have it. There's my list of 100 greatest wedding songs of all time that were released in the 1980s. Thanks for listening and have a great day. Thank you for listening to the Wedding Songs Podcast. Never miss a future episode. Subscribe today to our podcast. Follow us on Facebook at My Wedding Songs and send us a message about playlists you would like covered. 